Yeah. Yes. No, it's not. No, it is not. not. We, no, it's um, not. We're, we're, we have a new name. Yes. We you deliberated. Us, choose. Thought, long and hard. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it is. Culinary Workshops with Kate and Adrian. Yay! So we're excited for that and um, hopefully that will take us through from being in my kitchen mm -hmm. to being back on campus where we can cook together with everybody. So we are looking Yay. forward to that new phase. We are. But we cannot move forward without a song. That's right. So, and we didn't want to keep doing the Pandemic Pantry song because this isn't Pandemic Pantry anymore. So, we got Deb Ewing. I just wrote this this morning, <laughs> so be kind. Okay. Culinary workshops with Adrian and Kate. She will teach you lots of stuff. There's no time to waste. You will leave here knowing more than you do now. That's a note. You'll impress your friends, and they will all say, wow. <laughs> Chef, but I am just here for the food. I mean that I'm here like any good friend food would. We will share the recipes, they're sure to satiate. Enjoy culinary workshops with Adrienne and Kate. That's us. I love that. And honestly, that's the first time I've heard it all the way through. Oh, I it's true. It. That so, is true. Um, well, without further ado, I think we've got a quick devotional I'm just going to read for you today from yes. our beautiful book. Um, and we have just opened. And yes. we are on perhaps not the same page as you today. Yes, but, but we so many ways. like this message that you are invited. Mm -hmm. And the Bible verse is Revelation 19.19. 19. There's a lot of revelation in this prayer book, you guys. Yes. The angel said to me, write this. Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, these are true words of God. The message is written by Susie Kicklider. Jesus the Lamb always considered marriage feasts, remember reference Cana, a great blessing and celebration. So his own must be something extra special. Anytime Jesus invites us to join him, we must attend. But sorrowfully, we often turn aside and are too busy or uncaring. Does that sound like today? This Easter journey, which is the great 50 days of Easter until May 23rd, must be an exception and we must find time to listen mm -hmm. and join in the preparation for his mission on the cross the emphasis on the true words of god only serves to say that no idle blessing this is no idle blessing but an invitation to travel with him and sacrifice our lives to be his light in the world and carry on his work in the kitchen um, <laughs> dear lord let us join christ as he teaches us how to serve his children and our brothers in this world and beyond lord be in us and among us Yes, amen. What a good one. We'll end them on as we prepare perhaps a feast today that you can yes. take home some of these ideas with you and mm -hmm. try them out. Um, it's new ground for Adrian and I actually too. We thought we'd yes. try something not new to you but new to me. Mm -hmm. um, and we are embracing a certain tradition and we're doing a tomato aspect. I'm so excited. More excited than I probably should be. I know I am too. I'm like, why am I so excited about the tomato right. aspect? Because I've not really done it before. So I think that might um, be the Christopher Durang play that I read in high school mm -hmm. as they made fun of tomato aspic. Yes, and I'm a little bit guilty of that, but <laughs> going to give it give it my all today. So we've got some beautiful tomatoes. So the first thing we can do is Adrian um, is going to chop them up. So we've got about two and a half, a generous two and a half pounds of big fat tomatoes, and you're just going to chunk them because they're okay. actually going into the blender. Oh, okay. And while you're starting on that, oh, and also we've got three stalks of celery, so we're just going to roughly chop that too, so okay. that we can just stick it all in here. And in here, we've got about one and a half cups of watermelon that's already cubed. Okay. So we're going to get those two rolling and get them um, pureed. And then while Adrian's doing that chopping, it's been a while since we've like really chopped. I know, we're chopping um, today, guys. And this knife works well. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're a genius. So we're going to use this little 8x4 um, mold to put it in. Just uh, have that ready. And then, in fact, while you're chopping, once Where, we... Do you have your phone so we can see the monitor? I do have my phone. Here we go. Sorry. Oh, gosh. 
Yes. Okay. And then once you open it, if you just go to your Facebook page, it probably will offer that to you. It says, as something um, to enjoy. Um, Take the COVID survey as the first thing. Oh, says. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we are. We're live. Oh, there we are. Oh. Oh, my mom's here. She loves the new song. Thank you, Mom. Hey, Mama. Anyone else? Say hey. Okay, go ahead. Um, Sorry. That's okay. And while we're getting that ready, once we've got our juice, we're going to add to it um, three tablespoons of sherry wine vinegar. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get these ready while I drink. Chopping along, singing a song about goodbye. That's right, respite. <laughs> So three tablespoons of sherry wine vinegar, and then we're going to do two tablespoons of hot sauce. The recipe was a little vague, it just said <laughs> hot sauce. Um, so I think you could go either way there, a little bit more, a little bit less. It asks us for the juice of a lemon. Um, so a little acidity in there, lemon juice mm -hmm. is nice. And I don't worry about the pits because you um, can fish those out. I was going to say because you can strain it. Like a boat full of sails. <laughs> sails <laughs> at the time that happens. And one tablespoon of brown sugar, so that's going in. Um, so that's going to be our infusion to help um, flavor this delicious mm, tomato that juice. The sauce smells good. Doesn't it smell good already? Mm. We're going to add a pinch of salt. It's going to go in there. And a few grinds of black pepper. Two bits in there, and in a few minutes, I can just get those out with my um, with a teaspoon. So put that to one side. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna start I got the chunks over here. chunks are fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, and then if you could scoot it all back into that bowl, yes, that might make it easier. It's kind and of a messy so process. Can, I don't you're know. putting cucumbers. I mean, no, celery <laughs> in there, right? This yeah, is good. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Talk amongst yourself. this and another trick uh, if you don't know is to use a ladle when you're sieving because you've got a good surface area and actually it sifts through much faster oh. you go around so okay. if you want to start or make some more she means sifting when she sifting. says sieve sieving mm -hmm. I love watermelon oh, so consistent at least right but yes well no, I mean, I'm here to translate that's why I'm here I am here for the food and to translate. We can add that. To we really part. are a two man show. Yeah, if you if you're brown, you don't really even have to do that much work. Go brown, brown, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. mixture because we want to get out of it four and a half cups of liquid. Um, so it might be easier if we can find a little more space. Thank you. Something smells hot. What about it does. There we go. Turn that off in the back off. I've got a lot of things 
things on the go today. I'm not sure that for anyone that didn't read the preview, we're making the app big. Yeah. We're making a spring pot pie. Yes. Spring chicken Herby, pot pie. Herby. Herby. Mm, yummy. And we're doing fresh strawberry popsicle. Yum. And we're going to sneak a little pandan in there because that's, oh, we just love that. I'm not very good at this part. Well, you know, you're getting it. Going round and round and round, and it's kind of just doing the work. Oh, it's just you. moving all the yeah dry bits. And then just keep emptying your um, scoop. And it's quite quick. Mm. Hopefully, it's doing what we need it to do. I think that I mean I can see all the stuff dribbling out. Yeah, hopefully I've got enough juice. sherry vinegar, you know, and everything in it. Mm -hmm. And um, seem, trial and error seems to tell me this works well, so I'll dip it all in here. Okay. And then I'm going to be my gelatin queen. So we're okay. using four envelopes of the clear gelatin. Okay. Um, and so Adrian needs one cup of juice in there. And then the other should be a good three and a half cups. One. And I'm putting Four, these four packages in here. Okay. One, two, three. Good. Perfect. Three and a half. And it goes. Okay. Now, when you do that, you want to sprinkle all over. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. And start, should I get like a few No. So you shouldn't stir gelatin. Oh. Um, so you take it with it together. Okay. Um, so really, you choose something with a large surface area, because this is a lot of gelatin for the amount of liquid that you have. And this is called sponging your gelatin. So really, you just want to shake it in like that to give okay. it the best chance to, you know, do its thing. Oh, what do we do about my glob? Well, we just, you know, break the rules a bit and give it a bit of a poke. Let's come around here. Can we spread it out a little bit? I don't know. It still isn't a lot of liquid for the amount of, um, All right. amount of gelatin, but there we go. Okay. Let me sponge the rest of this. Yeah, sponge the work. I don't know. And while Adrian's doing that, this is going to come up just to a quick simmer on the stove. That's just going to help infuse all those flavors into our juice. It looks weird, you guys, I gotta say. It looks right. weird. Right? Don't be alarmed. You're doing it right. <laughs> okay, this fourth one, same thing, right? Yes, and it's sort of a reluctant, you know, go again. It's odd. It's not a way that I'm used to. <laughs> it's a sudden thing. Oh, I'm so excited. I bought my girl. She has been wanting to do this for I a while. have. I bought my girl a book. I think if any of you have seen it, called Why is for Y'all. It's an ABC book for oh. children. And um, I think it might even have Pluto Aspic in it. But it's full of southern delights. So, yeah, just, just embracing. All right, so we're just going to leave that to do its thing. So it's going to swell and become one giant solid lump. Yes. Okay, so while that's swelling and this is warming, we're going to do a bit more chopping. We're going to start our um, pot pie. Yay! So we're going to start that with um, our ingredients for that are going to be spring onions. I guess if I, I don't mind chop these real quick and then you can stick them in the pan. All right. Do we any fingers? Mm -hmm. yeah, no, Lots no. of green things coming in this pie. I think it'll be, uh, this is a nice and theory, nice, quick, easy supper dish. So you've got green onions, we're going to be using spinach, um, peas, yummy. Mm -hmm. So all of those, you just don't pop them in here. This is already on. The peas? No, just the green oh, onions. Okay, okay. So I've got a little couple of tablespoons of olive oil in here. Adrian's going to stir fry peas. I mean, gosh, there we go again. Yes. Stir fry peas. Yes. Yes. Scallions. Scallions? Yes. Green onions. But, so, I would call them spring onions, to be honest. Yes, I yeah. call them all three of those. So. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. do that a little bit. And once they begin to smell nice, you don't want them to go all yellow or anything. 
something you just want to um, soften them a tiny bit, and then we're going to add to that just one small bag of frozen spinach. So I've had that sitting out, um, so it's defrosted and it'll be a little quicker for us today. You can put it in straight from frozen. Would you like me to bring the cl camera closer? Or um, maybe in a hot minute. Let's okay. maybe get it going. Okay. And then, okay, we're going to go and add in our spinach. You can hear that sizzling, I should think. And then really, as much as anything, you're cooking that to get the moisture out of your spinach. No one likes a soggy spinach. <laughs> and I think, honestly, if you had got a big bag of fresh spinach in your refrigerator, you could just toss that in there and let that wilt. Yeah. That would be fine too. Mm. Mm. Then again, we're going to put salt and pepper. Ooh. Tiny, tiny few bits. Of I 
I just a teeny tiny feet. Okay, so we're just gonna, that's really not gonna affect our setting. Yay. But I don't think I want to pick one of those out of my teeth either. So let's take <laughs> that there. And that, see that caught our pips too that we've left in from the lemon. Okay. okay. So that is the beginning of our aspect. Oh my gosh. Right, so then the other fun part to doing this is we want to layer it up. So we've obviously done one ahead of time, but we are going to show you what I did. So we sliced, actually if you'd like to slice those little tiny tomatoes in half. Sure. Top to bottom. So when you slice them, you want to go through the top where it attaches to the tree. And she has Straight to tell down. me that because of what I did the first time she asked me to slice some strawberries. Yes. <laughs> she was like, oh. Yes, um, not, see that's not quite so, you just, all the pits fall out, so yes. that way's better. But we burn together. Yes, we do. And then, you know, if you've got access to the market, you could get some beautiful green tomatoes to add in here. We've mm -hmm. got our little maybe heirloom tomatoes I could find were these teeny ones, so we do have some little green guys. Yeah. So we're going to do some have big you slices. Have been reading the um, book for book club by chance? No, what's the book club? It's book? West with Giraffes, and Ooh. there's a discussion about it tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the church. Oh, in the building. Awesome. A lot of you were there yesterday on campus for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, by the way. Oh, yeah. And we had our first day back for Sunday school. There were a lot of happy people. Yeah. Sammy Rimbert, hi. Hopefully, if you were back for Sunday school yesterday, you got a cookie. There were some um, handmade cookies yeah. by Michelle out oh, to welcome yes. everybody back. Very, very good. Okay, so I've got, like I said, my little mold. Usually, if you're doing a water-based jelly, you just rinse it out with water, and that's enough for it not to stick. But I have aired on the side of caution, and I have sprayed with a little oil in here. And because we want it to be attractive when we flip it over, we are going to put some of our big chunks of tomato at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I've got some pretty little sprigs of, um, what are these? I'm going to put these under my tomatoes so that they're at the very top. These are sprigs of oregano. What are these? Oregano. Oregano. Um, and who does love a little these? fresh, yeah. mm, fresh basil? Mm, basil, yes. Mm -hmm. And then some of these little yellow guys. You can do them, you know, some this way, so you see the shiny brown side, some the other way. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Getting close to have it all this done. That's beautiful. And, um, and look, if I come, well, perhaps you can see that. Can you see I've got a single layer of all of those little goodies at the bottom? Mm. And then I'm just going to add a small amount of my aspic, just barely enough to cover it so they don't float and then we're going to put that in the refrigerator and it will stay there for an hour um, and that will like seal the bottom by which time this will be cold and then you can continue to add all your other goodies in your aspic um, until it's filled and then you leave it for four hours and bam and bam, bam. it's done it's done and snap the job's just. the game <laughs> <laughs> just like that okay so here we go gonna just sneak a little bit of that in there Oh, yeah. And don't don't be tempted to put too much because it all goes a bit pear shape if you do that. And it's not worth the risk. And I keep it in here because um, when I tried to move it last time, as it gets fuller, it, it made a mess. Oh, so yes. We're just going to slide this in this. We get to benefit from the lessons Kate has already learned. Yeah. Okay, so there's our aspect doing its thing. Okay, great. So nothing to be frightened of. This will just sit on the side for an hour. Quite happy. And we're gonna just crack on with our pie real quick because we wanted to cook this. Yes. So this is heated up. Um, so we've got our spinach, our green onions, our chicken, and then Adrian, let's just toss in peas. All right. We're gonna to toss in some gray mustard. Do you want all these peas? Oh, all those peas. <laughs> Grain mustard, and then we've got some sour cream in a bowl there. We're going to toss that in there too. Okay. Isn't that pretty? You go it right ahead. Okay, stick that all in. If you didn't want to use sour cream, you could use Greek yogurt. Where's our little guys? Here they are. 
you can then pile this into one great big um, pie dish. We thought it would be fun to do some little minis. Um, so we're just going to stir that through. Yay, healthy. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Now, this will also benefit for some fresh basil leaves. If you have tarragon, you could add that. Basil is really good with mm -hmm. spinach. We've already got a little nutmeg in there. Nutmeg is very good too. Yum. Mm. Great. Do you have herbs growing this in your garden yet? Not yet, but we're going to try to do raised beds this month. Mm. Did I see you had a um, courgette? A, a zucchini? Yes, we have, yes. we have a volunteer zucchini plant in our compost. Yay! So my dad's got some pallet wraps. We're gonna build a compost. Oh, thank but you. um, I, I didn't finish telling y'all this. Book clubs at eleven a.m. Oh yes, tomorrow. So no, it's okay. I, I think I forgot to say. I may have said ten. It's eleven a.m. tomorrow because ladies' exercise is back on campus as well, oh, and that's wow. at eleven a.m. in Wesley Hall. It'll it might be in the attic at this point because we're sharing spaces. We're learning how to do it all over again now that we're reopening. Yay! So if you um, want the facts about that, about where it is, um, call me. Yes. Okay. Well, that's good to know. It's been, yes. It's been a while coming. It has. Very exciting. It's very exciting. Okay. So I'm going to let you do this while okay. I'm going to get phyllo pastry. So I think I've got a little too much mixture, but don't worry about that. Just choose the spoonfuls that you want and just fill it until it's level with the top of the okay. pot. All right. Is that full enough or full enough? Go for it a little bit more. Yes. That's what I like to hear. Um, I'm hoping one of those has got our name on it. Oh, me too. So if you haven't used phyllo before, you get two rolls like this. You don't want to open it really until you're ready to roll um, because it dries out very quickly. Um, so if you were doing, uh, you won't really want a damp tea, like a tea towel like this, just rinse down in cold water that you could just lay over the top of it um, if you were doing a lot of things so it doesn't dry out. Uh, so we've got our single sheet, and then here we've got some melted basha. You can use olive oil. We're going for the basha. Yes, we are. And that's what makes it yes. so delicious and crunchy. Yes, and if you don't have a copy of the prayer book, you should come and get one. There's still copies at the church, and if you like to paint yourself, we oh, have a watercolor yeah. workshop coming up on Thursday, May 20th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. with the amazing Gail... She's so amazing. It's forty-five dollars. So y'all, let me know if you want to sign up for that. Okay, watch. So now we're just going to go shoot and just scrunch it. Oh, and then yes. we're going to put that little happy chappy on oh, top. Oh, it's going to be so crunchy and yummy. Pie. Yeah. So what I think I would do, Adrian, and once you're done, is maybe make sure that you catch a little of that juice to go. Oh, okay. The I try. Okay, pie. I'm really trying to not oh, the juice. Yes. yes. So now, now you can see what like this. What's what? Yes. Oh, Basha. We want the juice, but to roll with it. Literally. Yeah. Yes, it's probably Winston's last showcase today. He's Aww, right there behind the camera. Mascot. He did sing along. I think he approved it. He song. actually wrote that. He shared that with me. <laughs> and I really appreciate it. I'm always indebted to him. Uh, he makes all the best songs. He's like it should have been. Kicking and Winston. Yes. Culinary, wait, what's the new song? Culinary, yes. Oh, that's your fortune. Culinary workshop with Kate and Adrian and Winston. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Okay, so we've got two done. We've got the oven on at 350. I've just added a little olive oil to that just to make it flow a little More quicker color, yeah. for our purposes today. Gosh, haven't we come a long way since yes, we started I'm, doing this? I'm watch you go shoop, shoop. Okay, shoop. You need to have to, you need the sound effect. You better make the sound effect. Okay. Otherwise, don't bother. Yeah. Otherwise, the game's over. Okay, so really, we've got enough. If I had more pots, we could make. We could, a if you have one, a little bigger pot, we could do a bigger one. Mm -hmm. We can get, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll do it after we cut with you guys, because you you're here for all the good tricks. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> don't miss, oh, y'all, come Sunday to the park. Respite's birthday party oh, in the park is yeah. on Sunday. 5.30 to 6.30, Bama Skiffle's playing, which is my little family band with my parents, Charles Walters, Jillian's husband, and Lloyd Strickland. So we're, we are ready to rock for you guys. 
So and the weather should be good. I the weather think. should be great. Bring some spinach furniture. Bring your own chair. Be ready to dance and sing. You don't have to dance unless you want to. Okay, we're sliding these in, and really they're done when they are um, crisp and delicious. Probably about 20 minutes. Do you want me to spend the timer? Um, mm, no. Well, yes. Yes. Okay. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, I love this thing. Done. Done and dusted. Okay, in addition to the respite birthday, we have a very exciting thing called the Hank Williams Experience that I'm putting together. We're going to go to the Hank Williams Museum. You can ride in the church bus if you want to. This is on June 10th. Oh. So it's a month from today. Can you believe June is a month from today? That's, that's like almost mid-June. Oh my goodness. But it's going to be $10 for the museum. Bring your own lunch money because we are going to go to the Hank Williams Museum, have a guided tour, and then we're going to go to lunch at Lex Railroad Thai. Oh, so You're going to buy your own lunch and you will get live Hank Williams music from Lee and Amanda Borden and me. We're going to Aww. sing some songs and have a good time together, so I'm excited about that. If you want to ride the church bus, you can. Um, just let me know. And um, so that will be our first excursion on the church bus. Yes. <gasps> Kate and I went to the Sam's Order. We thought we needed a, like a, the bus for oh, the Sam's yeah. Order. We were like, oh, that could have fit the car. But yay, <laughs> we're in the church bus. <laughs> it did feel good. It, it did. did feel good. It did. Okay, gosh, where to go next? Now let's have a little look at our pot. Shopping. Yes. All right. So we've got fresh strawberries and we've got little blueberries. Mm. Okay, so we'll start slicing these this way. Yeah, so however others. you want to, because actually you're going to do your chopping. Like little okay. tiny, little tiny bits. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so I actually made this mixture up ahead of time. It's a bit like a cheese version of a creme patisserie, to be honest. Um, you could probably just use a pudding, a cup, a cup of pudding. You could oh. use that to shove down inside if you were, you know. Oh, you could do vanilla pudding. pudding or? Yes, you probably could do that just fine. Dolce and de leche. Oh, yes, maybe so. Um, but this one is milk, a cup of milk, a cup of heavy cream, a quarter of a cup of sugar, and two tablespoons of corn flour, and you mix all that together. Then you put it over the heat and just stir it until it thickens. Um, so we've done that, and it's thickened, um, and it's cool. So that's ready for our popsicles. But we didn't put vanilla in it this time um, because we were going to use the pandan, that lovely green color that we haven't yes. used for Yes. You remember Vanilla's from the macarons? Oh, yes. Oh, gosh. That seems a long time ago. I know. Um, and the ones that we're going to show you I made earlier this week, and I actually used Greek yogurt. So you can use Greek yogurt, vanilla. This has got honey in it, and then it had cream. Again, I put the um, cornstarch mm -hmm. in there, and then thickened it up. Now, the thing that we reminded remind you of, if you use a low-fat yogurt, and you don't use a full-fat yogurt, you get a slightly grainy consistency. There's nothing really wrong with that, um, but just know you just do something wrong. If it looks like it's split a little bit, it's because you used a low-fat product. Um, so strange. That's good to know. Have we talked about how, like, what culinary workshops will be? I don't think so. Okay. Well, when when you when you don't need to talk for a little while, I will. Yeah. Um, I would love to talk about that. It's yes, good okay. news. It is good news. Okay, so here we go. Oh, a little bit of panda. I put a little water in there because we were almost out. I'm just gonna like squeeze that through, but I don't really want to mix it all the way up. So. So it'll be so swirly. Like swirly, whirly. Mm. We're going for a very arty, arty popsicle. Very arty. Something, I guess we missed the boat with the pandemic when people were staying home making popsicles. But we're hey, making, making art. I mean, yeah. Yeah. No, I feel like we were making plenty. We but were making, <laughs> we were making things, yes. Oh, but we got to do it with all of you. We did, and we did do strawberry pops. Do you remember those? We did them like balls. Yes. Like on sticks. Yes, we did. You did strawberry pops. Like, um, mm -hmm. yeah, like lollipop popsicles. So this time we've invested in something called the Popsicle Lab. 
that a great Amazon purchase. Look, it's mm -hmm. nice and sturdy. Silicone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bandy. Um, oh, and quite, quite lovely. So this one has been just rinsed out with water. That's all you need to do to it. Mm -hmm. And then Adrian's look, all the yummies. I mean, you can toss your fruit in sugar, but why would you? Why? I mean, yeah. I just don't think people need all those extra calories, but nice. if you do, you can. So pop it in. Strawberries are so good this time of year. They are. My mom's had a bumper crop of strawberries. You know, you just never know what you're going to have from year to year, but she mm. has had so many. We've been eating them. That's so good. All the time. Yes. I've checked my granddaughter strawberry picking and oh. it still makes me smile every time I look at that little strawberry face. Oh, she was just drenched. But she was, we changed clothing. Yes, we've had a lot of strawberries. <laughs> she loves them, loves the right. Okay, but then my children used to like that too. Okay, and now we're gonna put our blueberries in. Do it, Adrian. It's gonna be great. We need that pie to cook, so we're gonna oh, squeeze. Come on. You know, and what we could do, plan B would be, because I'm lucky enough just to have a pie pan bag right here. Oh my gosh, yes you are. Yeah, so you could actually just squeeze that one out for the sake of it. And I'm just gonna load my pie pan bag with this yummy mixture. Say it was much the first one with the yogurt look much runnier. This one I feel like is more delicious. But there go. Is that a good just need yes. a little bump like that? No, that's great. Okay, great. Okay, I'm just gonna show. Oh look at that. That's like Oh that's so good. Okay. Because you don't want to if your choice of popsicle maker doesn't come with a funnel. Just use the edge of the okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just gonna do that for a minute. Okay. And then you bang it down like this. And you get that air bubble to come oh. up and it finds its level. So then we can put a little bit more fruit. Mm. Have you got clean fingers? You yes. We're gonna work just maybe on these six here. Okay. We have a finished product. I'm going to have to go on and tip in yesterday, isn't it? To bulk it up. Team, although I have to say, I did it by myself yesterday. It was all right. I just don't need to be in a hurry. Yes, look at that. Okay, that's relaxing for us. That might even be a tiny bit full. So we're going to get our sticks in there. Yes. Okay, one more again. Okay, and then we can go on to that last one. Let go of that if you were a one man team and it would sit 
right there. Mm -hmm. So it's quite cleverly designed. That it is. Place.
I'm still just sliding a knife around the edge of this. Excellent. That, yes. That's another special. Yes. Okay, so it feels like it's loose. Goosey goosey. Gosh, wish me luck. Good luck. You got this. I got this. Okay. And we should hear it. Toasted bread. We'll let you know. Yeah. We'll let you know. <laughs> she's not mad about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm gonna have to try it. Anyhow, you need to eat bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so little off. Okay, and then it's just got some little tomatoes. I don't have, but you could sprinkle a little watermelon around the outside because that's actually you don't really want to garnish with something that isn't in your food. I um, love that tip. Yes. I always try yeah. to remember that now. Yeah. Hey, Ruth. You know, you don't want to put a piece of orange on it. Would be very confused again. It's got lemon in it, you could use lemon, but anyway, that's that's big, gorgeous. Pretty little aspect, like surprisingly gorgeous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I was fine with coffee, and of course, you can use a much fancier mold, but you get a really pretty result. Great so job, Woo! Okay, nice. so pies are doing their thing now. I'm going to get some popsicles for you to look at. Ooh, unveiling the popsicles. Yeah. Now, I'm out of announcements for you, but I'll do a little interpretive dance. And as always, if you want to join one of our ministries, we would love to have you. We have a lot of stuff going on at 50 Plus. Um, so I'm trying to get all of the ministries we offer in 50 Plus up on the website. So that's fumcmontgomery.org slash 50 Plus. And you're on Facebook, but did you know we have a YouTube channel? So all the videos that are on Facebook, we also transfer and upload to YouTube. And so um, if you want to follow our channel, it is FUMC50+. Yay. <laughs> and I'm trying to remember if this is Greek yogurt or sour cream. I think it's sour cream. And, so, it, yeah, this and then you're going to add um, just a couple of tablespoons of horseradish. You could freshly grate your horseradish in, but I think this is a very or traditional like easy little accompaniment that's going to go with that. So Ooh, I love that. horseradish so much. I'm going to melt some white chocolate while Adrian's doing that. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look at this. We are also going to go on a civil rights tour in July. And I'm very much looking forward to that. And then we'll go have lunch somewhere. And that'll be downtown. So we've got to find a good place to go. So if you have thoughts and feelings on where we should go for lunch after the civil rights tour, it'll be in the morning on July 21st. So I think the tour is around 9 or 9.30. And it'll be in... Um, Michelle, the uh, More Than Tours director, it'll be in her um, van. So I asked her if it was open air, and she said, it's air conditioned. <laughs> so we'll be in there together, staying cool between locations. And I'm not sure the price of that one yet, but stay tuned. That sounds like a fun adventure. Yes, I'm excited. Okay, oh, that's oh, well done. Little toy. Okay, so we are going to just pop that in this little bowl. To one side. Mm -hmm. mm. I think people add, gosh, what could you add to that? You could do some like little pickled gherkins, I think, yes. like that, little, little crunch in there. You could add a little finely grated celery or something. Yes. Um, scallions. Scallions could be good, but I think that's just simply mm. sweet. So now we're going to jazz up our already incredible ice pop. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, These look okay. so good. Yum. So here they oh, go. Wow. Look, look this at is what those. they look like. It's not oh that fun. So 
they popped out just like that. And then what I did earlier, oh, so excited with these. I drizzled them with white chocolate. Oh my gosh, those And then decadent. covered them, look at that, in um, crushed, yes. Yeah. Freeze dried strawberries. Yes, yeah, so he is good. Yum. Like, I'll hold it up one more time. Here, I'll take it closer. Yeah, yeah. closer to the camera. Yes. <laughs> Here, let me eat that really quick for you. This one is in its little wrapper, so you can see how cute that was. Can you see that? Oh, the timer's going off for the pot pie. Oh, right. Oh, Ruth Russell's on there, too. Did you say good morning? Yes, I did. I said hi, I guess I missed that. Okay, so you could serve those. You know how they artfully do it on Pinterest. You can put them on a bed of mint leaves and bring them to the table, um, and we'll have a little play with that. I think maybe you could hold two more. Yes. Um, <laughs> could you help could me, you? Adrian? <laughs> and then could you, you could you could sprinkle some ice cubes across there, and then you mm -hmm. could just lay your popsicles on there and take them to the table for everybody. As I say, and now that we're all into prepackaging everything, you can also put them in those little. Um, yes. to do that but let me show you how we how simple it was so I've warmed these are chocolate melts you could use any kind of chocolate you just want it melted but obviously you want it to cool again you don't want yes. it to be hot yes. melt your popsicle mm. um, you could oh you could put the plum down in that and it could be green that could be very green Ooh. too and then there's a bit trial and error for this too but we figured it out yes. so what I learned was you can only do one side at a time and that when you do one side and you go to flip it off, it seems like all the chocolate wants to just fall off. So you have to carefully flip it. And then when you do the other side, it somehow makes a net around oh, it and it kind of finds its way it and then appears. it stays on. Okay. So, <clears throat> so it's a two-stage two stage mo mo motion. But basically, you're just going to do that and you will have to like, oh, drizzle your little crumbs on here immediately. Oh, okay. Do you want me to drizzle on again? Yes, this is interesting. So I've only just um, got these out of the packet and they're not crispy anymore. So you don't want to oh, prep wow. those too soon. Oh, wow, they are they're mushy. Mushy. So let's yeah. just crumble. So when you get them, okay. they're like a crisp. Look, they just, or a chip. Just crumbly. So you could maybe crumble. They are crisps. <laughs> they, they, yes, <laughs> they are. Well, yes, they're crisps. You shred. And I'll drizzle. We are definitely a team. Oh. Look, oh my gosh. Chunks, chunky. Um, chunky. And then you can warm it. I think we could actually try it right now. We can just twist them over. Mm -hmm. And go ahead and do the other side. Happiness. It's an ice cream covered in white chocolate. Oh, right. But you know, you still shouldn't feel so bad about this because there's no real sugar in our mixture. It's simple. Um, it's all healthy. We've got options to make it more healthy. And we're going to stick those in the freezer just for a yes. few minutes. Yes. And then they'll, be, they'll make an appearance in the pictures. Yep. I just need a plate to put those on, I think. Yay. And then you said the time is on. Yes. So I think we can check in the oven. Run this outside. All right. Does it look like you? Yes, we've got that warm board, that wooden board. That warm board. I'm not sure what she means. But, oh, oh, the, the, the iron thing. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I think we're going to do that here. Okay. Let's, you want to, where's that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Almost lost my mind. Thank you for turning it for me. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Good. Yum. Yay, perfect. So that's our little pies. And they are super hot. If we get something else to just adjust those with. But what a sweet little supper dish. You've got a lot of vegetables already in there. Great mm. Sunday night kind of lazy supper. Now you could go ahead and make that mixture ahead of time. You just would need a little longer in the oven than we had, obviously, mm -hmm. for it to all come back to temperature. Um, but how delicious! I cannot yes. wait to. to Yummy! So that's us for today. Yes, and I have a little coloring workshop. So we've got our, our lollipops, ice creams for today's 
tune I can dip right into. We yep. have, we've conquered the aspic, both super excited to try that, mm -hmm. and then a lovely hot pot pie. Yes. Um, so thank you and I don't for being with us. Closing song, so I'll just say thanks for coming to Col How does it go? Culinary Workshop with Adrienne.